write the symbols for the atoms to show the central phosphorus atom attached to three chlorine atoms, each connected with a single bond. The general symbol for phosphorus trichloride, starting with only single bonds, would be Step 3. Complete the octets of the atoms bonded to the central atom. Each of the chlorine atoms bonded to phosphorus has now attained 8 electrons. Step 4. Place any leftover electrons on the central atom. This gives us a total of 24 electrons, 18 electrons from the chlorines, plus 6 in the 3 single bonds. Thus, we have 2 extra valence electrons, which are not accounted for. We will place them on the central phosphorus atom. This is an example of an ion with a net charge of plus 1. Step 1. Calculate the valence electrons from all atoms. Subtract one electron for every one positive charge. The total electron valence equals 10. That is, 5 from nitrogen with 5 valence electrons from group 15 plus 6 from oxygen with 6 valence electrons from group 16 and minus 1 from the positive 1 charge. Step 2. Connect the two atoms first with a single bond. The general structure for the NO plus ion, starting with only single bonds, would be Step 3. Distribute the 10 electrons between the two atoms so that each of the atoms attains 8 electrons. When oxygen attains 8 electrons, nitrogen is short of 4 electrons to achieve an octet. Step 4. There are only 4 electrons on the nitrogen atom, 4 short of an octet. So try forming a double bond between the nitrogen and oxygen. The oxygen still has an octet, but the nitrogen has only 6 valence electrons. Now try forming a triple bond. Each atom now has 8 electrons. So that's the Lewis structure for NO+. This is an example of a molecule with a resonance structure. Step 1. Calculate the valence electrons from all atoms. The sum of the valence electrons is 18, 6 electrons each from the oxygen atom. Step 2. Write the symbols for the atoms and connect them with single bonds. The general structure for ozone, starting with only single bonds, would be Step 3. Complete the octets of the atoms bonded to the central atom. The oxygen atoms bonded to the central oxygen atom have each attained an octet. Step 4. Place any leftover electrons on the central atom. This gives us 12 electrons from the two terminal oxygen atoms plus 4 from the two single bonds which gives a total of 16 electrons. There are two unaccounted electrons. We will place them on the central oxygen atom.
Step 5. There are only 6 electrons on the central atom, 3 short of an octet. First, try a double bond to see if the central atom can achieve an octet. Now, the central atom has an octet. The Lewis structure of ozone has one single bond and one double bond. There are two possible positions of the double bond, thus giving two structures. The two equivalent Lewis structures are called resonance structures. This is another example of an ion with resonance structures. Step 1. Calculate the valence electrons from all atoms. Add one electron for the indicated negative charge. We will have 5 from nitrogen with 5 valence electron from group 15 plus 18 from 3 oxygen atoms each with 6 valence electrons from group 16 plus 1 from the negative 1 charge giving a total of 24 electrons. Step 2. Write the symbols for the atoms and show the three oxygen atoms attached to the central nitrogen atom with a single bond. The general structure for the nitrate ion, starting with only single bonds, would be Step 3. Complete the octets of the oxygen atoms bonded to the central nitrogen. All of the oxygen atoms bonded to nitrogen have now achieved 8 electrons. Step 4. Place any leftover electrons on the central atom. This gives us 18 electrons from the oxygen atoms plus 6 electrons from the single bonds giving a total of 24 electrons. Step 5. Now, nitrogen has only 6 electrons, 2 short of an octet. First, try forming a double bond to see if the central atom can achieve an octet. Now, the central atom has an octet. The nitrate ion has 2 single bonds and 1 double bond. There are 3 possible structures with the double bond being in nitrogen oxygen 1, nitrogen oxygen 2, or nitrogen oxygen 3. These three equivalent Lewis structures are called resonance structures for nitrate. There are three general ways in which the octet rule breaks down. First, molecules with an odd number of electrons. Second, molecules in which an atom has less than 8 electrons. Lastly, molecules in which an atom has more than 8 electrons. Let's look at some examples of Lewis structures when the atom has less than 8 electrons, an exception to the octet rule. Step 1. Calculate the valence electrons from all atoms. We will have a total of 11 electrons, 6 electrons from oxygen, with 6 valence electrons from group 16, plus 5 from nitrogen, with 5 valence electrons from group 15. Step 2. Connect the two atoms to get the general structure for nitric oxide, starting with only single bonds. The structure is... Step 3. 
distribute the 11 electrons between the two atoms so that each attains 8 electrons. Step 4. Having placed 6 electrons at oxygen plus 2 from the single bond, we have used up 8 electrons. We have 3 more electrons left to be placed at nitrogen. Step 5. There are now only 5 valent electrons on the nitrogen atom. 3 short of an octet. First, try forming a double bond to see if the central atom can achieve an octet. A double bond would give 7 electrons around the nitrogen. Next, try forming a triple bond. This would give 9 electrons on the nitrogen atom. This is a typical example of a molecule which does not obey the octet rule. Step 1. Calculate the valence electrons from all atoms. We will have 3 valence electrons from boron, group 13, plus 21 valence electrons from 3 fluorine, group 17, giving a total of 24 valence electrons. Step 2. Draw the structure of the molecule to show the three fluorine atoms attached to the central boron atom, each connected with a single bond. The general structure for boron trifluoride, starting with only single bonds, would be Step 3. Assign six electrons to each of the terminal fluorine atoms bonded to the central atom, so that all the fluorine atoms have 8 electrons. That gives a total of 24 electrons. So the Lewis structure of boron trifluoride contains 3 single boron fluorine bonds with boron having only 6 electrons, 2 short of an octet. Lastly, let's look at an example of a molecule where the central atom has more than 8 electrons. Another exception to the octet rule. Step 1. Calculate the valence electrons from all atoms. We will have 7 electrons from iodine, group 17, plus 28 from 4 chlorine atoms of group 17, plus 1 from the minus 1 charge, giving a total of 36 valence electrons. Step 2. Write the symbols for the atoms to show which atoms are attached to which and connect them with a single bond. The general structure for the tetrachloroiodide ion, starting with only single bonds, would be Step 3. Complete the octets of the atoms bonded to the central atom. Each of the chlorine atoms bonded to the central iodine has each attained 8 electrons. Step 4. Place any leftover electrons on the central atom. This gives us 24 electrons from 4 chlorine atoms plus 8 in the single bonds or 32 electrons in total. There are 4 more electrons to be accounted for. We will place them on the iodine atom. The iodine thus have 12 valence electrons, 4 electrons in excess of the 8 electrons for the octet rule.